Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to the episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 2019. And we are about to go harvest another field, field 13, I believe it is, right over here. Actually, right next to the shop, so it's not going to take us long to get there. Uh, we've got our little New Holland harvester here. It'll be fun to play with. I don't know, have we used a New Holland yet? I'm not sure if we have or not. I mean, we've used a New Holland for I thought, something else, I think. Like a, I think we used the hay baler, maybe, or maybe that's just another playthrough that I've done. But, um... We'll use this one. I think it's going to be good. If I can make this turn. <laughs> and uh, get out across the railroad tracks here safely. And uh, yeah, let's go get this thing harvested. We have this harvester and we also have our own personal harvester. Well, the one we're leasing still, which, uh, you know, to be fair, is costing us money every single hour. We're in a good place on the money side of things right now. We're at $110,000, which feels pretty good. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll kind of go from there. Let's see here. What is the angle that we want to harvest this at? I assume up, down like this is probably the best bet. So let's just move you over here. Good. Harvest header. Detach. And we're going to pick you up. And then we can put our harvester on maybe on the other side or something like that. This is one that I assume uh, unfold harvester. Yeah, I was gonna say it folds up its own wheels within itself, which is cool. I like that. That's really smart. Um, definitely makes things easier for transport. I mean, the harvest, the, the header trailers. There's nothing wrong with them. They work just fine. But you know, it's definitely convenient to have the header have its own wheels and stuff like that. One less thing you gotta buy and and whatnot. All right, let's get the worker started here, and then we'll go get our harvester here in just a moment to harvest for the other side. Uh, I might be clipping it a little bit. No, I th think we're okay. There we go. All right, we're good. Uh, let's grab our harvester, and we're going to just uh, pipe in. I probably could just ride it right over there without grabbing my... I mean, I'll grab the trader, but I don't know if I have to undo the header because, I mean, it's just right there. We can even see our, he our harvester right there. So we know it's close. So I'll just grab the trader just to bring it with us. And then we will, um, we'll just, we're not even going to bother putting it on the trailer, but the header. We should be able to, oh, if I can do this without dying here. There we go. Come on, little trailer. Just go across the road here. Like I said, we'll probably start on the far side, although it's at a bit of an angle, so it's going to make it a little... A bit of a weird path, but I think we'll be alright. Hello, other harvester. We are coming to help. And I'll just leave my trailer right about there. Good enough. And we'll come over here to the far side if I can stay away from uh, falling down the hill here. We'll go up, downs along the side here. I mean, it's going to be at an angle, like I said, but I think this is the more correct way or more correct path to do this on. Something like, uh, something like that. And then we might still be a little, not quite overlapping enough. If I can just not fall down the hill. <laughs> All right, we'll try this. By the way, I am using a new uh, controller I just got. Pretty happy about that. It's a... Uh, Xbox Elite 2 controller. Uh, normally it has like its little paddles on the back and things like that, which I've taken off temporarily because I just I don't have those buttons mapped to anything at the moment. So currently they're still mapped to like I think the, uh, I think it's mapped to A B X Y, which I already have A B X Y. So I'll, I'll remap those some point, maybe bring those back. But this thing's amazing because you can change what little uh, knobs you have on top, uh, little joystick things. Uh, you can change the little D-pad. Uh, you can change the tension of the triggers and all the different things. So pretty awesome controller a bit expensive i definitely could have bought a really nice steering wheel for the price that i spent on this um, which obviously would have been great for games like this and maybe i still will buy a steering wheel at some point but uh i definitely every review i read said that this, this controller was worth the price which seems crazy because it's very expensive but as soon as i got it it's like okay i get it now it feels very comfortable very nice on the, the hands the my thumb uh, on my other controller was starting to hurt with some of the racing games and stuff like that i've been playing lately and uh, this is definitely a, a much nicer feel, so very happy with it. And no, I'm not being sponsored by Xbox Elite 2 controllers. I just figured 
it's in my hand right now. It was fresh on my mind. I figured I would just mention that I it's how nice it is. So, all right, uh, harvesters are going. Um, let's get you out of the way, actually, so I can get the semi truck hooked up. Come over here, little friend, and grab the semi truck, and we'll move that up there just so it's ready to start gathering some. Uh, what was that? Wheat, right? I think that was. By the way, I've had some people ask why I zoom out so much. I just like seeing the full vehicle, like in this case. I like zooming out enough so that I can see almost the whole trader, basically, you know. Um, it's just the way I like to play. If it's not the way you like to play, then play different, you know. I think everybody plays the game that they want, way they want to, uh, and this is how I like to play it. I would apologize for it not being the way you want to play it, but I'm not sorry. I, I play games how I play them, and that's the way it is, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I guess if it bothers you so much that you just can't watch the videos, then I understand, and I apologize. Then you know, I, again, I was—I'm not gonna apologize for that, but I understand that that would be the case. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just like seeing the whole vehicle. I think they're good models and fun to watch, and uh, yeah, it's just the way I like to play. All right, um, what's the status? Like, how quickly are you filling up over here, buddy? Oh, it's actually oats. I thought it was wheat for a second there, but it is oats. Uh, you're only about forty percent full, so we got some time to do something else. Um, what would we do? I mean, I think our field right now is in a, what is it, stage three right now, it looks like. So we still have some time before our fields are ready to go. I might cut fast forward time now. I mean, they're still going to be able to work on the current contract. Are there any other contracts I would like to save? I mean, the plowing contract wouldn't be bad. It's some really good money. It would take a while, to be fair. But I do have, you know, other tractors that can help out if I just lease some relatively cheap equipment. The one thing about the plowing, though, is that uh, I don't get any extra after the plowing. You know, I don't get, like, to sell the harvesting stuff, which is always really, really nice. Um, really not a lot of other good harvestings. I mean, here's one that's for 7400 which is not bad. Um, we might be able to knock this one out. And actually, we could probably knock this one out with just our current lease tractor, not even bother renting the one. Well, 12 is right here. I mean, it's, it's not the smallest field in the world, but... Uh, We'll have to see. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one if it's still available. So for that reason, I might not want to fast forward because I want to might want to take advantage of these as much as I possibly can. Uh, even this forty eight hundred dollar one, this one I definitely can do with my own uh, tractor. Now it's going to be number ten. Where is it? It's right up here. It's pretty small, so it would only take us a few passes to get it done with our own tractor. We'll see. Um, so like I said, for that reason, I might not want to fast forward time too much. I mean, honestly, any of these harvesting ones would not take long to do, and it's just it's money. Uh, money is money. And what else do we got available to us? Uh, what, this is going to the central grain elevator, which is the same grain elevator we've been sending... Keep the wrong button. Same grain elevator we've been sending people to all this time, which is this one right up here. So it's not too far away from where we're at currently. Shouldn't take us too long to get up there. Um, I mean, I guess I could do the harvesting myself. If I got nothing else to do. I don't know. Sure, why not? We'll let him finish this pass, and then we'll start doing some harvesting ourselves. Because, I, I mean, I hire workers a lot because it doesn't bother me. I feel like I'm, I'm being more of a farm manager than just a pure farmer by myself out there on my own. But, uh, yeah, why not? Let's, uh, we'll dismiss the worker here and do a little bit more of this on our own. Harvesting I can do on my own because it, um, <laughs> I can see where I'm going. Some of the other stuff, like the, uh, the um, fertilizing sometimes can be really hard to see. All right, uh, turn it on and go. Turn on the cruise control for this. Automate a few things. It's a nice little harvester. It's not too bad. Still like my John Deere, but this one's not a bad one as well. Very, very wide. I think it's probably about the same width as the, the John Deere that we have. And that, what was the one we had previously? Uh, oh, I forget the name of it now. 
we had on the last field we had one of these wasn't the black one of the black ones maybe no it wasn't an echo maybe it was a case i think it was a case that we had on the last field wasn't it yeah yeah i think that's right i think i've mentioned this before but it always fascinates me how straight these tractors run and now may, that might be a factor of the video game you know i could put it on a, a line and it's just going to go that line but how realistic is that i mean do tractors in real life do they run like super mega ultra straight uh, i know some of the newer newer tractors can actually run based off of i think i've heard they can run based off gps coordinates which in theory that means that they would auto correct if they start veering off track a little bit but just a tractor by itself i mean i assume the alignment of a tractor is ultra important because you want to be able to make straight lines you don't want zigzaggy you know fields all over the place so kind of always makes me kind of fascinates me a little bit makes me wonder since i don't care about the uh the uh straw bailing i'm not gonna worry about the fact that i just left a trail there although it does look a little silly Like I'm right, barely, maybe not on the edge here. I'm mean, gonna zip over just a smidge. I bet I'm gonna miss that. Oh no, I got it. Okay, I'm still good for the moment. Always looks like I'm not not there. Maybe it's just the width of the tractor. It just looks like I'm not quite on the edge. We are about to be full here in just a minute. Done with this field real quick in a hurry. Yeah, I think if we do number twelve, I think we'll just we'll just use our own harvester. I don't think we need to rent the one from that one. I mean, the one benefit of renting it is, is we also get the track the the semi truck that allows us to pull a lots of green and stuff. But uh, I think we'll be all right. All right, I'm going to hire the worker just for this last little bit so I can get the tractor over here. Or the, sorry, the truck over here. I'm coming, I'm coming. Although I kind of want you to stop just because I don't want to mess with you like you turning around. Either stop or wait for you to turn around. One or the two. Because once you turn around, I don't mind riding beside you. Oh, we did miss a little bit. That's all right. It's my fault for being on a bad line. Come on, little tractor. Let's go. You turn around. I know there's a trailer in the way, but I think you can turn around despite it. Wow, you were going really slow right now. Is it really that much in the way? Okay, never mind. There you go. You can do it. Wow. Wow, you're turning slow. What is going on with you, buddy? Not sure what's going on with him. He's having some troubles. You can do it. You got this. You got this. Look at you. I knew you could do it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just keep on moving. I'm trying to get lined up proper. Oh, are you full? I, did you literally look out and be full like right there? So I'm going to have to straighten up here. That's funny. That's kind of funny. All right. I'm on. We'll get you. There we go. I mean, it's not perfectly lined up, but we'll be all right. What's our other tractor doing? 76%. So get in there. By the time we empty this, we can probably head over to him. We can take our probably our first load to market. Well, to the silo.
There we go. Actually, it's only 24% full, so we'll actually be able to do um, two sets of loads. So we actually might be able to wait until they're completely done with the field before we uh, bother going all the way to uh, the silo. We'll come over here and we'll just ride alongside you. Toggle cruise control, but the cruise control is probably at like 60 miles an hour. Yeah, I think we get this whole field in this one truck. We're not even halfway full yet, and we're looks like we're about halfway done. Maybe a little bit more than the, with the field. Now oh, he's struggling to get some of the ends of this though because of the angle. I don't know why the AI struggles with the angles so much. And if so, and like if that's a thing that just happens, then why does uh why do so many fields have angles on them? At least he's on the part now. I think it's flat, so hopefully he's smart enough to do what he needs to do now. Right, there we go. We'll come over here to this guy now once he gets turned around. Now, although I'm in the way of this other guy. There we go. I think we made it. We'll do a pass with you, and then uh, you guys will just about be meeting on the next set of passes here in the middle. Cruise control. <laughs> Five miles an hour, six miles an hour. There we go. Now we're at a good speed. Make sure he still might be a little bit faster than me. It's hard to tell. Let's move up a little bit just so we can get it. Close to the middle of the tra uh, the trailer. New Holland is a very rounded tractor. I mean, I feel like the John Deere has a few more like flat edges, whereas this one almost looks bubbly in a little bit of a weird way. It's interesting. Just just interesting to see people do different different ways of doing different of the same director basically, the same same process. Just, you know, different different takes on things. I mean I guess it's the same way with cars, to be fair. Although cars I think you can be a little bit freer with design because like the only real purpose they serve is to transport human beings from one place to another. Whereas these things have to, I mean, you have to be able to harvest. You have to harvest a certain way uh, and, you know, be able to have a pipe that goes out to a trailer and things like that. So there are some standards here with um, this kind of stuff that uh, you have to take into account. All right, I'm gonna, they might be very close to hitting each other on this pass. Let's see, are they going to be able to both do it? There might be a small strip down the middle. Small, tiny strip down the middle. Uh, nope, they are going to hit each other. I think once the yellow guy goes past, the green guy will be able to be fine. So, I may have to go intervene. Let me get you out of the way, because the truck definitely does not have room. I don't, well, 
No, I don't think it has room. So let's just do this. Move you out of the way. Grab you. And let's get you out of the way temporarily. And then you can back up and do your thing. And actually, we'll be able to finish both. Yeah, this is actually good timing. Because they're going to both go at the same speed. And uh, actually, I will have room for the truck to go past one of these two. Probably this guy, because he's fuller. And then I'll just have to grab the guy stuff from the yellow guy, and we're done. That actually worked out pretty well. I just had to space him out a little bit better, though. Coming, we're coming. Let's go up to seven for just a couple spots here. I'll have to cancel that yellow guy here in just a second, though. Uh, when he gets to the end, because I don't want him turning around and coming at us. So you go a little bit slower than the other guy. It might be a maintenance thing. I feel like you go a lot slower than the other guy. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to check the maintenance here in a second. Alright, you can cancel. And we're actually going to get you out of the way here. Right over here. We'll get your, we'll get your stuff here in just a moment. We'll go back to the truck. Speed back up. Alright, and that is all that. I am going to grab uh, you. I'm going to go grab this little bit over here that he missed. Just because, why not? I mean, every every little bit of grain is profit for us because, um, you know, we get to keep the extra. Okay, I did that too soon. I didn't think it would slow down that much until it hit the grain. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. I'm not going to bother to go get that little tiny strip back there, though. Yeah, I need to key map some of these things that I do all the time. I'm assuming I can key map them to those bottom trigger buttons on this controller. That would be kind of nice and convenient. Alright, that's that. Let's go semi. Yeah, not even close to a full load. It means this other small field next to us, number 12, when we do that one, it will uh, it definitely won't fill up a full semi either. I mean, I do... I guess I could just use my trailer with one of my other tractors. I mean, I could use it with a truck, but the truck is just always so finicky. What is that to our left? I'm actually not familiar with that. What is that? Let's see here. That is... Oh, it's withered. <laughs> I was like, that's why I don't, I'm don't. i not familiar with it. It's actually sunflowers that are withered. Wow, those look sad. Although, I mean, I know in some sense, sunflowers, you want to be dried. Are you supposed to wither them before you harvest them? I, I assume not, because I feel like withered would just be really bad. But... Who knows? I, don't, I honestly don't know anything about sunflowers other than I enjoy eating them all the time. <laughs> I don't know how they're actually made. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd like to get me a semi truck soon. I'm hoping. So I just I want something that can transport stuff a little bit better than that pickup truck and or even the tr the slow tractors in the trailer that we have. All right. There comes a little extra money. Yeah, we made about eleven five. So overall, total, you know, almost twenty thousand dollars off the contract as a whole. Not half bad. Let's go ahead and turn that contract in because we are done. And let's grab number twelve over here. And like I said, I, I am just going. To, I mean, this one even says it's a, when I what it gives me is just a tractor and a regular trailer. So I already have that. So there's no point, I think, in renting anything. So we're going to just accept this contract as is. And we'll get our little guy over there, start working on that. We'll bring our trader up. Go from there. Nice and convenient and close. And it's a square-ish, well, rectangular field. But it's a, there's no angles here, so that's always good. So worker go, and then while he's doing that, we will grab, I'm going to grab you, but I'm going to unhook you from the truck, because I'll just use the tractor here that we have. Dirty, dirty truck. Um, not you, you. It's quite a bit slower, but at least it's stable, so it'll work. wonder if all of that field will fit into this trailer. And this trailer's pretty big. I would imagine that we need to take at least two loads, though, is my guess. How much does a semi-truck cost again? It's like 150 isn't it? Yeah, if we go for the, like, the Roadrunner... It's 161. I mean, we could technically afford one of these other ones now. And one of these, um, I thought could use like a regular attachment, like a re like the trailer that we have right now. Like, is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yeah, this one looks like it could haul the trailer that we have right now. So I could just about afford that one if I wanted to. Which would mean we could haul stuff a little bit quicker while we save up for a better trailer. It's an idea, although I think I'd rather have one of those other um, semis, to be honest. I just think they look cooler. Come drive alongside of you. Why not? Make things a little bit more efficient. Don't have to stop or slow down. Part of the reason why I don't always drive beside them is because they drain out through the pipe faster than they harvest, which means that um, they, uh, you know, if I let them fill up, then I, I could just sit there and let them drain out as quickly as possible. Whereas if I'm driving alongside them, eventually they get to the point where they're just not draining out it very fast. I'm going to let you turn around here, buddy. And then I will drive alongside you on the flip side. Don't mind me. I'm just going to drive through this field of dried up sunflowers and pick me a few rotted seeds to eat. No, that just sounds nasty. <laughs> Trick cruise control set to six. Perfect. Although I think we need to drop down like five or four for this tractor. There we go. It does look cool having these two side by side, to be honest. I will give you that. 
other than the fact that I'm breaking a little bit of realism by driving over the non-harvested part of the field. <laughs> hey, hey, give me some... You know, it is what it is. I'm obviously having trouble staying in line. No one ever said I could drive good, okay? Pretty sure at this point you guys have seen my terrible driving. Although, I feel like I do pretty good in race games. I don't know. Although, the, to be fair, maybe there should be. Maybe I should appreciate more precision. But there's not quite as much precision in race games. Like, I don't have to be, like, lined up on a pipe perfectly or f straight down a field in the perfect, you know, line. I mean, there are good lines taking corners and stuff. But a slight variance on those good lines is never really going to... I mean, it's not going to typically cost you the race if you're good enough. If you're consistent enough. That's the thing about, I guess, racing is consistency. Which is still the same here, to be fair, but... This one's a very, very precise level of consistency. tractor. We're actually already 50% full on this uh, this trailer. So yeah, we're going to need at least two or three trips to the to the thing. But we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll continue harvesting some more of this field and uh, get this contract. Maybe move on to another field while we still have the tractor. Really try to get as much, you know, profit off this usage of this tractor as we can before we turn it back in. I'm um, Honestly, at this point, we may even wait, hold it onto it again until we get to the point where we can harvest our own fields, which I assume would be later today anyway. So we shall see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.